So today on Project Shop, we're going to be doing the brakes, uh, brake rotors and brake pads front and back on my 2004 S55 AMG. So I ordered the brakes from um, FCP Euro. These rotors are absolutely massive. They look like something that would be on my uh, F350 dually. Um, and uh, they come with this brake uh, wear sensor, I guess. So the front brakes were 470 and the rear brakes were 247. So you're talking about $720 almost just in parts from FCP Euro. I can imagine what the dealer wants for these. But man, I can't stress how big and heavy these, I mean, these things are just massive for this car. I know the ones that are on it are cooked. Um, so anyway, we're going to get this thing jacked up. We're going to do the back first and then we're going to turn the car around and do the front and then we're going to try to, uh, while the rims are off, clean them real good, man. Another thing I'd like to note, I've never done the brakes since I had this car. Um, you know, they sent the rear ones, you get four pads and then they sent the front one, you get eight pads. So that just shows you how massive those front brakes are. Um you know what you need when you're trying to slow down from like 150 mile an hour okay real quick i want to go over the tools you're going to need before you get started um to get the wheel off you're going to need 17 millimeter impact uh, a breaker bar and then um to get the pads off you're going to need uh, some thin punches and maybe like a little pick to get the sensor off some pry bars to push the pads back um, some zip ties to hold the caliper up, um, maybe some dikes, an eight millimeter to pull off the back of the uh, um, sensor housing, and then a, a ahead and sprayed around there and the, where the Allen is with some WD-40. Let that soak while I clean. I'm going to clean these up a little bit. Every time I touch it, my hand will turn black. So uh, I just sprayed some wheel cleaner on it. I'm going to use that brush agitated and then I'm going to use uh, just a spritz bottle and some rags to, to clean it up. We're not going to make a big mess, but definitely clean it up a little bit. What a difference. Wow, as nice as they've looked since I in a car. Okay, so what we gotta do here is uh, remove the sensor, and then there's a eight millimeter bolt that needs to be removed to take this off. And then we can knock these pins out with the punch. And then once we remove them, there's two 18 millimeter bolts back there, and then we're gonna use some zip ties to hold up the calipers. Okay, I got it off. Took a little bit of beating, but a uh, bunch of brake dust in the middle. And uh, you can definitely see that lip in there. So, anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up with a little bit of sandpaper. I'm going to spray this out with uh, brake cleaner. And um, then I'm going to put a little bit, just a very little bit of this uh, lubricant on here. So, hopefully, if I ever have to do this again, it won't be so hard. And then, um, I'm gonna put the new rotors on.
looks sharp. Okay, the fronts were a little different. There was uh, only one pin holding in each side. I already removed them. Um, I just wanted to show that on the front, these are different. It's a number 10 uh, star, Torx, whatever you want to call it. No, I'm sorry, number 30, T30. And then it's a 10 millimeter Allen to take the caliper off on the back side. It's just a little bit different setup, but pretty much just as easy. And as you can see, those ones were done. Holy cow. Remember to check the uh, fluid level. I caught this just in time. So I'm gonna take this uh, little syringe here and suck some of this off into a uh, little bottle there. Okay, so <clears throat> the camera died and I uh, just wanted to show the progress. I cleaned these all up. Um, a little lube on them where they're gonna move around and the way these are designed is pretty cool you knock this pin out and um, this kind of spring-loaded clip there's two grooves here so that also helps not let that pin come out because this thing's only pushed in and then held in by you know a little pressure right there which is kind of crazy but uh these are actually eight piston there's one two three four and same thing on the other side so this, unlike like my F-350, where it just got two pistons on one side and kind of pulls it over, these squeeze from both sides, which is uh, pretty cool. Okay, I got the wheels back on. The only thing I need to do is set it down and then take the breaker bar and make sure the lugs are tight. But uh, it looks pretty good. Looks way better than I started. brakes oh shit they just turned the leds on out there wow. it's pretty dark this is my black black tent can't see nothing at the back even though it's daylight <laughs> so like i said earlier um it was about 720 dollars for the brakes um and then brake cleaner uh, i did buy the uh 
brake uh, lubricant and some Loctite, maybe 25 bucks, uh, 30, 35, 40 bucks maybe because I bought that. So you're talking about um, 760 bucks for what it is. It's not bad. You do it yourself. You take it somewhere. Obviously, you're going to pay a lot more and uh, probably a lot more in parts. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you come this far, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, have a great day. Stay safe.